Walt Disney presents the Disney Legends. Since 1987, the Walt Disney Studio has been honoring people who've made significant contributions to the Disney legacy. Now, meet Fess Parker, Disney's first superstar. Very few celebrities can truly claim to be an overnight sensation. But on December 15, 1954, Fess Parker made television history as Davy Crockett. But I'm working on one now about old Davy Crockett, the uh, Tennessee uh, uh, Indian fighter, congressman, and later on he was the, the hero at the Alamo. Instantly, the whole country went crazy over Crockett, and Fess Parker became an international star. The six-foot-five-inch actor was named after his father. Fess means proud in Old English. He was born in Texas in 1927. After a neck injury playing football, Fess studied law and business, but in 1950, he moved to Hollywood to pursue acting. Eventually, stage work led to minor film and TV roles. I had a small part in a picture at Warner Brothers called Them. It was a story about giant ants the star of that picture was Jim Arness, and Walt Disney had been given Jim's name as a possible to play Davy Crockett, and he stayed long enough to see my scene. A few days later, Fess became the first adult actor signed to a long-term Disney contract. Ready? Roll him. Action. Born on a mountaintop in Tennessee, green estate in the land of the free. An instant Raised hit, Disney the quickly so reran the first three dream. episodes and Joe followed Kim with two Lamar, new TV shows a year free. later. And he re-released those as a motion picture, and I traveled to 42 cities in America. Everyone was caught off guard by the phenomenal success of Davy. It created an unbelievable mania for souvenir coonskin caps, and Fess got 10% of the merchandising profits. But Mr. Disney didn't want me to stay stuck in that park. So he cast me in big screen pictures like The Great Locomotive Chase, where I played Union spy James J. Andrews. And here I'm in the wardrobe department being outfitted for the part. Fess starred in three more Disney films. Following the frontier tradition of his Disney roles, he enjoyed a six-year run on NBC as Daniel Boone, ending in 1970. Then, Fess put acting on hold for a while to become a successful businessman. As the legendary Davy Crockett, Fess created his own legend. It's been a wonderful, positive influence in every way. Fess hopes to act again someday. Just for luck. 